All right, in this video, we're going to talk about graphing some simple polar equations. So here we're going to graph r equals 2 and theta equals pi over 4. There's two different ways you can think about these. Just to graph r equals 2, um, what that really says to me, it says, it's kind of independent of the angle. So pick any angle that you want. Just go out a distance of 2 from the origin. Well, if you do that, you know, if you kind of neglect the angle, if you allow it to be whatever you want it to be, but you always go at a distance of 2, hey, that's just going to make a nice, uh, a nice circle. So I think I put my negative 2 down here a little too far. Let's make negative 2 right there. It's just going to be a circle of radius 2. And again, you could see that because we know that r, uh, we could rewrite r as the square root of x squared plus y squared equals 2. And if you square both sides, we get, hey, x squared plus y squared equals 4. And again, x squared plus y squared equals 4. That's just going to be, again, a circle of radius 2. So this would be part A. Part B, we've got theta equals pi over 4. So theta equals pi over 4. Again, you can kind of think about this in the same way. It says, go to an angle pi over 4. So pi over 4 would just be our 45 degree line here. So there's the angle pi over 4. And then it, kind of the same idea. It says, always let the angle be pi over 4, but pick any r value that you want. Well, if r is positive, we'll get uh, you know the segment of the line that goes off into the first quadrant. If r was negative, though, it would reflect down into the third quadrant. Um, and basically, we would just get a nice little line. And again, the way that you can see that is, if you take tangent of both sides, so tangent of theta equals tangent of pi over 4. Well, tangent of theta, we've seen that we can write that as y over x. Tangent of pi over 4, that's just equal to 1. So if you multiply both sides, you simply get the equation y equals x. And again, that's what y equals x looks like. So two different ways to think about it, you know, just, uh, just to think about the equation that you're given. But uh, also a very, very common thing to do is to convert them back into these uh, rectangular coordinates to where hopefully it's something a little more familiar.